The clay I'm using in this video is uh, NSP Soft Sulfur Free Plastiline by Chavant. Well, I'm uh, going to hold off on working on the hands until uh, this weekend, probably Saturday. I don't work on Sunday. I always like to take a day off. But uh, the hands, like I said before, are going to be made out of wax. And uh, I'm, I've got a vise. Let's see, where's my... Here's my makeshift vise. I... It works. It's just that I ordered one that's adjustable for angle and all that stuff. And so I'm going to wait till I get that to work on the hands. The uh, robe I'm going to work on tonight. And when I say tonight, it's probably about almost 8 o'clock in the evening. And it's because, uh, quite honestly, I just didn't get it started early enough. Now I've had the clay warming up and I've actually had the heater on here in the Ow! <laughs> it's uh I've had the heater on in the house or at least in my living room where my studio is located and uh the light's been close to the uh clay so wait ow that's hot Ooh. Ever you had your hand in melted clay oh warm anyway I've gotten it soft enough to work with so that I can get some stuff done here so let's uh, quit talking and let's get busy I've got my camera set up on my sculpting stand, uh, stand obviously that's so that uh, you can see a little more clearly of what I'm doing on this piece. Um, I'm going to try to do my, my uh, videos in the evening and I'm going to try to do it at real time so that you can uh, see what's going on which means shorter videos or shorter segments of me working on the clays and that's because I really don't like the speed up versions I I'd much rather work uh, at regular speed what I'm trying to do is make the folds in the blanket here Filling in underneath the, uh, the blanket so that uh, they can cast it. You don't want uh, deep recesses in the material because then it becomes hard to make a mold of. And then if it's hard to make a mold of, then it becomes very expensive to cast. If you notice, I'm rubbing a tool on my nose because that gets a little bit of the body oil. So that the tool won't stick to the clay. could almost put another figure right here. I don't know, I might do that. Of course, every figure I put in this thing is going to...
cost more money to cast. I like it. I like this uh, NSP clay because uh, it's just the right hardness and just the right stickiness as well. You know, Chavant, which this clay is brand name, was uh, developed by a chemist in France in 1892. And they've been making their clay, their professional sculpting clay since then. Back when I uh, I first started sculpting my uncle, who's a professional sculptor, uh, was using Chavant on a 20 foot or 30 foot tall bucking horse piece for the uh, state capitol in Wyoming. And uh, he was using Ch Chavant, the uh, terracotta colored version of the clay. No, I don't think I'll put another figure there. I think that separation is just just fine the way it is. Nose got a little flattened. I'm trying to make this a vision of the past, and that's kind of like why I'm making it almost smoke like in their look and movements. It's like they're uh, coming out of a campfire. I think what I'll do is put a lump of clay back here to hold it in place and then cover that lump with feathers. I've got to solidify that uh, form. I'm trying to position my hands where you can see what I'm doing. You wonder why it's all of a sudden brighter because I turned on another light. Feathers off the uh, the wheel. Hell, yeah, I haven't solidified those yet.
All right, that's going to be it uh, tonight because I really have to do the hands and I can't do them until I get my new device. So, minus the uh, two feathers that just fell off on that circle, I think it's going to turn out okay. I like the feathers back here. It gives a nice uh, design quality. If you'd like to learn something about sculpting, I've been doing it since... 1965 uh, you might uh, want to take a look at some of my instructional DVDs I've got uh, a uh, link to uh, a review of each of the uh, DVDs I have available right now uh, down below this video and uh, feel free to flip them over and buy the ones you want I think I've made it pretty easy for people to buy the, the DVDs. It helps me to uh, keep sculpting and uh, finance uh, clay and my time. All right, good night. All right. Till next time.